Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today, we're going to discuss some awesome new plans that were leaked for Knott's Berry Farm's rumored new Giga Coaster. And wow, these are doozies. So these are these are the newest plans released, and these are submitted to the Buena Park City Council, the City Planning Commission, in uh, October 2021, so just a few uh, months ago. Um, and this could be the potential layout of the coaster if approved. And I say if approved because, of course, it still has to go through the planning process, and hopefully the neighbors will not object to it. Um, the neighbors will usually object to, well, they, they object to the Ghost Rider screams. That's why Ghost Rider has that scream shield above it to soften the blow from the screams. But there are a few things uh, this B&M Giga Coaster could do. Uh, quiet the crowds down, or quiet the screams down and the noise down. And well, there will be a tunnel, for one, and you'll see, so you, as you'll see in these plans, and two, you can easily fill up the track with sand to make the coaster a bit quieter. So hopefully, these plans get approved. See the fair has submitted them. They're ready to go. Um, this would be side prep happening in 2022, first or second quarter of 2022, but with an opening in 2023. So let's take a deep dive into these leaked uh, plans here. Yeah, so here's the full thing. Not here. This area is the park, and this area is the parking lot. As you see, the parking lot, a lot of the parking lot would be reconfigured and taken out. A lot of spaces would be lost for this coaster, which means Knott's would most likely have to build a parking structure, um, which would probably be better for the park anyway, to replace some of those lost spaces. Something I still think Six Flags should do. They should build a parking structure to open up some more land for expansion at that park as well. But we can use that in another video. So let's start off with Ghost Town. So this is Ghost Town, and you see most of the go most about every single building in Ghost Town will be staying the same. There's some admin buildings like here and here that will be altered. But most of the Ghost Town stuff will be staying the same. This building is the only exception. This is an admin building, and it currently, as it stands today, the building goes from here, and it goes like this. This building would be cut in half for the coaster station, and that's the only thing in Ghost Town that will be touched. Which is good, because, um, and again, it's an admin building, not admin building, not like a themed eatery or anything. But yeah, this is good, because the Ghost Town is like the most themed land in the park. It's a classic, it's an iconic theme park land, definitely here in California, but I feel like around the country as well. That is that is the foundation of the history of Knott's Bay Farm, Ghost Town. I mean, Ghost Town opened before any other any attractions opened as well. So uh, the Calico Ghost Town. So that is it's a very important piece of the park. So I'm glad this Giga won't touch it. It'll just have its station there um, and then hang out over the parking lot for the fun, which is great. Um, and again, for such a landlocked park, it's like only 45 acres. It's amazing they are going to put a massive 300-footer in here. This, with the West Coast only, the West itself, is only 300-foot uh, B&M coaster, which is great. The West only Giga, actually. And the fact, it's only B&M Giga, but only Giga as well, which is great. So let's start, take a look here. So here are the station buildings. And then here is the, let's see. Let's see. This is the lift. Yeah, okay. This is the lift. I'm going to try to zoom in as much as I can because I feel like uh, can, there's some uh, foot meters here. This is above sea, sea level. Now it's 77 feet above sea level. So if you track 77 from these numbers, this is how tall some of these drops are going to be. And hills are going to be. So here's a very long lift till you see the support. These dotted lines are supports, and it's showing the support going through this. I think it's another admin building. I can't read that word. But these supports for the lift fill 
We're going through this building again, the only other building building to be altered here um, for this project. We're going to a height of 347 or uh, 325 feet, which is the same height as Fury 325. Get it? Fury 325 feet, which is at Carowinds in North Carolina. Well, I think it kind of straddles North Carolina and South Carolina border, but Carowinds Park is currently the tallest BM giga out there. Um, and Nas Bay Farm will tie that, but Nas Bay Farm will have a bigger drop because of that tunnel. Right here, as you can see, here's a drop, and this white or uh, gray space is the beginning of the tunnel, goes under the parking lot, and this is a new road configuration, by the way, for new toll booths and new entrance to the parking lot. You can see it goes right here, it drags around here. <laughs> Spreads open to the toll booths are right here. You can park in this overflow parking lot or come to this parking lot. But the tunnel, the coast will be going, diving under you, underneath this tunnel, popping right back up, and we're moving into this airtime hill. This massive turnaround. It says this is 200, I think, 267 feet above sea level. So, again, now it's a 77 feet, so 267 minus 77, so you'll be about 190 feet. Uh, that's about that's about the height of that hill that turned around 190 feet, which is quite tall. It's almost the tall of a hyper uh, height of a hyper coaster. Um, awesome second hill. I'm gonna be coming down, and it's another number. Yeah, then this is about 82, right there, 82. So you could be going from 190 feet at the peak of this hill. Turn on hill to four feet. That means it's an about a hundred what, hundred eighty six foot drop right here. As you zoom and you'll be interacting with the parking lot a lot. Um, all these will be, all these currently are parking spaces. They'll be taken out and probably placed with grass or something pretty because Cedar Pear likes to beautify things, which is amazing. So you'll be going over the entrance. One of the entranceways to the parking lot, it will see as see if we're going over three of them, um, three engines and <laughs> three entries to the parking lot. Um, but they'll be only four feet above the ground. They'll be quickly rising up to it says one forty four here. So let's see one forty four minus seventy seven. So about sixty seven feet above the ground. Uh, throughout this segment and this one, there's another drop right here. It says I think it says like. Another like eighty or something. So you'll be going and some small camelback or medium sized camelback uh, airtime hills here above the second entrance to the parking lot, and the third is the main entrance to the parking lot. This is the Nas Bay Farm Hotel right here. Um, so this I believe is Rand Avenue. This is the Nas Bay Farm Hotel, and that's not going to be altered at all. That's going to be staying the same, and the parking will still be saying the same, which all this, and by the way, all this over here is this is this is where Ghost Rider is in the current parking lot. All that is right over here. That's not part of this project, so that will be untouched. But, you know, as we continue along the track, you'll be going over some more airtime hills, going over the another entrance to the parking lot, the fourth one here, and then you'll be going up this turnaround. Now, this is is this will be a really intense turnaround because you're at this point you'll be at 81 feet. It's hard, it may be very hard to see on the camera, but you're 81 feet, so you'll be four feet, four feet above the ground. Then you'll go up to 217 feet, which will be 140 feet. So you're gonna go about four feet on the ground to 140 feet. Accelerating about like 136 feet, going extremely quickly on a basically a helix, a massive turnaround helix. Wow, that'll be quite intense and definitely some gray out or blackout moments for people, especially if you're not experienced or never been on a giga before. That will be quite intense. Then at this point, you're at the end of the parking lot, you're gonna turn around, do the same thing. Basically, we did here lots of camelback or airtime hills, maybe some camelback hills. Moving along, and then you get along to the brake run. And this last turn around, get along to the brake run. 
go here and then you'll be um finishing your ride here very nice coaster i mean simple land it really makes the use of almost the entire parking lot again doesn't really um hit the park at all um so that again doesn't disrupt ghost town which is fantastic and it's a really cool coaster and again these are all these are some adamant buildings all these buildings are still here right now this is the hotel which will be untouched and again i fully expect not Bay farm to build some sort of parking garage or have some replacement parking off see because there's be uh, tons of parking spaces lost here 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 and here and here and here um so yeah that's and it will be really it'll be quite the sight to see by the way especially when coming into the one of these entrances and over here this coast will be diving underneath you rising above you it'll be really interacting with your parking lot experience it'll be a, a fantastic first impression for someone who's never been to Spray farm or for someone who's just excited hasn't been in a long time excited to go to the park it'll be like a great first impression this massive 325 foot coaster um, just staring you right in the face and, and even with at this point, it'll be over 100 feet in the ground. You should be going right under, driving right under these airtime hills. That would be quite insane. I can't wait to see it. I really do. I really do hope it gets approved. And this might not be the final layout, as the plan uh, not submitted or seed fair submitted plans in May 2021 to Buena Park, and with a significantly different layout, same type of around the same heights, but. A definitely different type of layout. So this might not be the final layout, but this might be one. This might be the one they decide on. This might not be the one they decide on. But if this comes exactly how this is laid out right now, three hundred twenty-five foot um, um drop or three hundred height of three hundred twenty-five feet because of the tunnel, three hundred forty-seven foot drop. We don't know the speed, but could this potentially go 100 miles per hour? Wow. If so, uh, I believe it would be the first chain lift coaster to go 100 miles per hour. I mean, not the first 100 mile per hour coaster. There are a lot of those. They're not a lot of those, but there's a decent amount, but they're all launches, all launch coasters. This could be the first chain lift coaster to go 100 miles per hour, and that'd be quite incredible. But it even would be quite incredible anyway, because not Spay Farm would be the only coaster, only thing. Park to have a coaster, Giga Coaster. Giga means 300 or higher. Hyper is 200 or higher. But it'd be the only theme park on the West Coast. Basically, every from basically Texas, Texas has some. So from anything west of Texas, it'd be the only theme park to have a Giga, which is incredible. Incredible. Especially because it's such a small park. And man oh man, again, there's those rumors of Six Flags Magic Mountain something big in 2024 everyone everyone knows each other and everyone knows kind of each other's plans internally um within theme park to theme park before the public knows so i'm sure six, that rumor is not a coincidence with this uh with this rumor here at not i'm sure six flags is knowing that Knott's is building a gig most likely building a giga coaster so they want to clap back with something even bigger or something major of their own and will it replace Viper? That's the most obvious location for something massive, a giga of their own. But we'll see what Six Flags does, if anything, in 2024. Uh, if this gets built, we'll see if Six Flags, how Six Flags responds. Because NAS is pretty packed already. Estimates of nearly 6 million people. Again, just a 45-acre park. But they have, again, not just great coasters and great family rides and great dark rides. Tons of great entertainment for fantastic value. The ticket price is still, Knott's Bay Farm still has one of the cheapest ticket prices, if not the cheapest ticket price of all Southern California major theme parks. I mean, even Legoland. Legoland is like a hundred something dollars per one day. Knott's is like 50 or 60 if you get it online. 50 or 60 dollars. And that doesn't include parking, of course, but Legoland doesn't include parking either. So that's pretty insane. That's Knott's continues to offer a fantastic deal. Um, the parks and it's really really worth checking out if you have never been to southern california or if you come to if you come to southern california for an annual disney trip or universal trip if you like disneyland but offers like six flags 
Knott's is like a perfect blend of both. It has family rides, dark rides, and massive 10 great coasters um, for thrill seekers as well. Um, so de- I'd say definitely check out Knott's, especially because it's so close to Disneyland, uh, especially during something like the Boysenberry Festival. So good. So, so good. That chicken and apple sausage that I tasted at the Taste of Boysenberry last year, fantastic. I'll be going there this year or next year. Uh, year in spring to go get one of those. So good. I cannot wait. Yeah, definitely check out Knott's Bay Farm. And I will definitely be checking there. I'll be getting a season past Knott's Bay Farm for 2022 to check out updates at the park. And the entrance around this, basically, the Mystery Lodge will be used as the queue, by the way. So I'll be watching that very closely. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for uh, a potential giga? Coaster coming to Knott's Bay Farm. Do you think Six Flags will respond? And how should Six Flags respond if this gets built? Do you like Fairy 325? Have you been on it? Uh, and Leviathan. This, these are that's probably the two coasters this will be closest to. Have you been on a BM Giga at all? Orion, the newest one's Orion at Kings Island, I believe, that opened last year. Do you like them? Do you like those coasters? Are you excited for it to come to Knott's? Or do you think it's too big for Knott's? Like, wow, Knott's is a small, charming park. We don't want this ruining the park. It really won't ruin the park. And it will really enhance the skyline. It will really enhance the skyline. It will be great. Do you think the neighbors will approve? Or do you think they'll be like, oh, heck no. This is, I don't want that massive thing there. Keep in mind, Supreme Scream is the currently the, <laughs> the tallest structure in Orange County at 300 feet. A drop tower, theme park drop tower. It's the tallest structure in Orange, or uh, yeah, in Orange County. Uh, not, I don't know if it's Orange County, but at least Buena Park in Anaheim. Um, definitely Buena Park. This would overtake it at 325 feet. So, very interesting uh, things to know. I'm all for it, of course. I'm a theme park, theme park person. I feel like most people watching this video will be all for it, um, especially if you're a coaster lover and you like my Six Flags content or any coaster content, I feel like you'll be all for it, but I'm curious. Any people who frequent Disney or Universal, would you would this make you go to Knott's Bay Farm? Let me know in the comments below. Um, subscribe for more theme park updates. I'll be back with another video. Um, probably a couple more videos before. Oh, wait, it's already December 29th. Goodness, the days are flying by. I'll probably get one more video for uh, New Year's Eve. I'll probably post uh, the 2022 to look forward to in 2022 for maybe Universal or Disneyland, probably Universal first, and then Disneyland, and then the other theme parks. And yeah, but other than that, have hope you're having a great holiday week. And um, sorry for this glare. I really try to fix the um, the um, the window and the, try to put that thing down. But hopefully, it wasn't distracting you too much. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.